another shift. It seems like every day Rust Hilt's plans are changed, either by necessity or pure happenstance. This time, a bit of both. While the nation will always hold a special place in Rust Hilt's heart, the more time he spends in the Borderlands, the more he realizes he's far from reaching that goal. And in an effort to prove to his friends that he is capable and practical, and maybe even to prove to himself he is those very things, their target shifts. Dust bandits are a pain in the sides of all who reside within the Borderlands. And only recently did Ruka, Rusthilt, and Hobbs discover a tower to the west heavily guarded by those very same bandits. More heavily guarded than anything they've seen them camped in thus far. A stepping stone. The dust bandits would be used as a stepping stone. A clenched fist and fire in his eyes, Rusthilt begins to imagine bringing down the dust bandits in the borderlands for good. And his first step toward that ultimate goal is taken. Well, we find ourselves back in Squin. After a little bit of an expedition to try and hunt and failing in the process, we however did find something a little more interesting, depending on how you look at it. This right here, the Dust King Tower. What an interesting little situation we find ourselves in, realizing that the dust, the dust bandits have a prized tower holding something inside. Our characters don't know that's the Dust King's Tower. We know because we are who we are, but perhaps via talking around Squin, letting others know that, hey, we found this weird tower off to the north, uh, off to the northeast. We find out via that, uh, through word of mouth through the bar, that this indeed is where it is rumored that the Dust King lives. And this is interesting to Rust Hill. Because he has a big goal, right? He wants to take out the Holy Nation, or at least try to in some regard. But that's a leap to go from a farm boy to taking out one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest factions in the game is a jump. He feels like he has to prove himself and he should at least try to prove himself. So goals once again with Rust Hilt shift ever so slightly. The Holy Nation is still the overarching goal. But what if Rust Hilt could bring peace to the Borderlands? What if he could remove one of the threats? Not all of the threats, but one. The most well-armed, well-equipped, well-fed, and most profitable bandit troops here. The Dust Bandits. So Rust Hilt throws that out there. A little thought that, that crawls into his brain. What if he's the one to take down the Dust Bandit King? Is it possible? Anything's possible in the Wasteland. Is it probable? Rustil doesn't really want to think about that. But if he can do it, if he's able to achieve that first goal, then the doors open and anything is possible. It's something to think about. Before we worry about that, there's also something else that seems to have happened as we've been resting here. We can see some Garu. And while we can't do much hunting, uh, while we failed hunting in, in the past, perhaps if we start a fight with them, the guards will run in and they indeed do. So let's back out and this can be our food. So I'm gonna have Ruka run out and take care of that one. I want Hobbs to just take some pot shots. Uh, well, why is he? Not using his... Why is he not using his, uh... His ranged weapon? He's using his secondary. I'm gonna pull Hobbs back and have him... Uh, is he... What? Hobbs needs to come back. I don't know why Hob... What? Ah, I have to hit ranged. I have to make sure he stays ranged. So Hobbs is going to pull back here. And I want him to just take shots. There he is. Yep, he's giving a reload in. And maybe he can at least get a shot off. Hmm. Well. I have no idea if he managed anything. Whoop. But. 
it ended up working out supremely well for us. The hunting trip may have been a fail initially, but the makeup hunt, the, the hunt that came after, aka we, we pissed off some Garu and now we're going to make it work. Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and show, show my gear. That actually worked out really, really well. And so what we can do, actually, we can actually use our oven in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Who has it all? Why are we missing it all? Oh, because it got dropped on the, the freaking floor. Speed it up. Take the skin. Raw meat. There we go. Did we get everybody? Almost. I did it again, I think. We'll have Hobbs run out here and pick this up. All right. Well, everybody back. And I want to be using this. And now we can actually make our own dried meat. No room for that item? Hard disagree. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a disagree. Dried meat. Will they automatically do it? They will. So long as I actually have it set up. She's operating it. Is it cooking? All right, it's actually working. Okay, okay, that works fine. Hobbs, I want you to do the same thing. I think you have some meat on you. All right, that, that works. That's gonna be a good chunk of food for us though. I'm very happy about that. So once you're done there, Ruka, can you just go ahead and haul all the food you have to store it up? I imagine this will make you kind of a cook. This will help on your cooking skill. I don't know what this will do, having a high cooking skill, but still, that's that's good. I'm glad that we have it. Nines, you are doing your own thing. Rust Hill, how about we have you take everything here? Oh, you don't have a freaking wooden backpack. Oh, well. We'll just have you run across. We'll sell off what we can. Start making a little bit of money, but we're not going to be spending any money on food, which is a start. All right, 5,000 cats. Now, another thing that people have pointed out is for me to look at her armor. And this is probably something I should have done or should have paid attention to initially. People are saying I should not be wearing her armor because it adds for massive penalties. She's taking a melee attack bonus of minus eight. Uh, another m nothing here. Martial arts doesn't bother me. Melee attack of a minus eight and then another minus two. She's taking a total of a minus 10 Rolling with the armor that she's currently rolling with. Which is pretty bad since that would drop her down to an effective... Well, actually an effective four due to her equipment bonus. So what we need is some medium armor in the meantime, I think. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Actually, that is what I meant to do. Drop those in there. So with medium armor, we'll be able to, at the very least, give her something that will be more effective. Or I could leave it on and have her run around with it constantly. And eventually those penalties should disappear with her strength getting better and better. Is there any way to know how much strength you should have before throwing this on? Because it doesn't it doesn't look like it. Rust Tilt doesn't really take much of a penalty. He takes an assassination and all that. Um... But outside of that, he's actually not rolling much. He's not actually rolling any attack penalties straight up, which is which is quite good. He's rolling at an attack 14. That minus four is coming from being bad, being indoors maybe, probably would be my guess. So let's send him over here to sleep. Hobbs as well. While Rook is going to cook. And then Nines is literally just hanging out. Nines, I don't understand how you can get stuck constantly, or if you just will go up to a certain point and then run off on your own. But you're not doing anything. Take them with you, I guess? Nines? Nines. Aha. That worked. Had to do control shift F11, which redoes the nav mesh, I guess. Which basically lets him move properly. Which is fine. As long as, as, long as it works. 
That's all I care. Well, these guys got some work to do and some mining to do, so uh, we'll let our little crew of five do what they do best. Nines has spotted another group of goats passing by. As he was mining copper, uh, there's actually a few goats that are meandering out this way. And I think what I'm going to do is have ooh, Hobbs. Hobbs is like, I think, the highest athletics check. So I'm going to have Hobbs swing out here, aggro them, and see if I can bring them back and have the same thing happen again. Perhaps a, a bit of an attack will, uh, will cause the guards to come cause issues. And we'll be able to start a fight. Okay, okay. That's what I wanted. Now I want you to run. Run, Hobbs. How fast are the goats? Pretty fast. Pretty fast. You're faster, but maybe not fast enough. That's a lot of, uh, of food. Whoa, 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 nines. What the fuck are you doing, dude? No, don't get involved. Run. I brought Hobbs out here on purpose. Yeah, here come the guards, so let's have them all turn and fight here in a minute. But let's get them past them. And let's, uh, let's run. And let's have them attack all. Even getting nines in there to get some, some combat done. We'll pull Hobbs back. Ruka's even getting involved. Yeah, she's working her way in. The guard should do a lot of work for us, but this is going to be good for her as well. Hobbs popping shots. And everybody kind of goes back to their business, but not before we loot the hell out of them. As best we can anyway. They have a lot of food on them. And where's Hobbs? Hobbs, I want you over here as well. That actually has worked out really, really well for us to uh, a couple of, of, of passing patrols of just some, some wild animals have then all of a sudden provided us with food that should last us quite some time for only the five of us. So I want to grab all of it. There it is again on the ground because I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. Right click, not left. And one more over here. It's wonderful. Lots and lots and lots of food. So now the Garu and uh, and the goat, a goat pack have been murdered. Helping us a little bit as far as stats are concerned, bumping up our toughness. Has he gone up in crossbows? Hey, he's, he's level three crossbows. It's not the worst thing in the world. I think we need to wake Rust Tilt up so he can take care of uh, Hobbs, though, once he walks in. Clearly going to be in need of some of some help. Yep, perfect. And we'll go ahead and have Hobbs sleep right here. Fall is still just kind of standing there. There he goes. A little frustrating, but it works. Rust Hilt's also, I think, going to tend to Nines. Yeah, Nines' left arm got a little beat up, rammed by one of the goat horns. Probably tore some flesh, cracked a bone, but Rust Hilt, being the medic that he is, is going well. His field medic skills are at 18 and working their way up. That's a lot of food, I think, that we're going to be stashing here, so I'm very happy about that. I wish we had another stove, but yeah, I don't think he can actually go ahead and use this. Yep, he can't really use it. So let's just have him sleep. We have Rust Tilt hang out inside as well. Hobbs, why don't you drop off your skins first? And then you can heal up. I think Rust Hilt was helping and trying to heal up uh, the best he could her. Only 14? Did we sell it all already? We must have. But a bloodbath now sits outside Squin. The most successful combat we've had, hilariously enough. Because we didn't have to do much. The guards did it all. And they're bound to protect us. The, the most anybody got hit, it looks like, was one of the guardians in his leg. 
One got a little bit of a bump in his stomach. Actually, the, the Shek looks like the leader of the crew took the most damage. He got bonked on the head a bunch, stomach, chest, and his right leg. Still, not bad. Not bad at all. We're being attacked. Nines is being attacked. Nines is being beaten down by starving bandits, probably because he has food in his backpack. So I'm going to put the backpack here and I'm going to run Nines to the guards. Nines is being uh, smacked around quite a bit. We'll have him run in and maybe do some fighting. Let's uh, let's slow things down now. I just wanted to get him back in time. Well, let's pull him all the way in. And Rook is actually going to swing out as well. Maybe not not a bad not a bad idea if they even if they even survive attack all and then like nines as well to attack all I want him to run in and get some combat experience if he can this is gonna be the best part of of being involved in a combat like this. I think Ruka just left, and Nines is going back to work. There's a bone dog. Maybe a little scary. More bandits. Just gonna get pulled to jail, and then uh, one's crawling away. Oh no, did he lose his arm? Oh god, he lost his right leg, his left arm, and he's just bleeding out. He's trying to crawl away. It's not working. A bone dog decided to wheel back around and jump in to try and attack. I don't know who. But this poor bastard is desperately trying to just like run and it ain't working. Where'd the bone dog go? Way up here maybe? I'm not sure. That was kind of tragic. He's trying to just to walk away. He's given up. He's bleeding out. He's gone unconscious. Yep, he's he lost a leg. He lost two limbs, man. That is rough. That is exceptionally rough. And they they're actually going to pick him up. There goes his leg. This guy's in a recovery coma. Are they bringing him to prison? They must be, right? They must be bringing him to prison. Which tells me that the prison has space again, which is something I didn't think it had. I'm gonna wake up Rust Tilt to see if he takes care of some medical needs. He is the medic. Doesn't look like he gives a crap. Nines is the only one that needs his attention, so let's actually just go ahead and put him towards Nines. We'll take care of him if we can. Let's bloodbath. I imagine he walks out and he almost vomits just from seeing it all. But there's weapons and money to be found. So there'd be it'd be stupid not to just take what I can and make any silly little cats off of them. So that's what he's gonna do. Let's pick up some weapons. We could pick up a leg. There it is. Nice little human leg. And then Rust Tilt's gonna take care of uh, Nines. Do some medical work. We'll go ahead and throw him back in the bedroll. Let the man rest. Once again, uh, we're under attack. I I'm just got back to like paying attention to what was going on because I was letting the mine and uh, heal and cook. Cause there's a lot of like just work that the crew, the crew needs to get done, and we're immediately being beset by more starving bandits. So I have to once again kind of jump into the middle to rescue Nines here. Cut him across. Luckily he had this little divot that he could run to, and the guard is already well on their way. So we're gonna move across, down in one fell swoop, and what I want to do is actually just have him attack this one right here. Nines can get a block in. Yeah, get a shot in. Almost a second shot. Nice block by nine. Look at him, he's getting two shots in now. And now, now it's gonna be a, a, a one a one fight because the guards are gonna come over. But he just took out her left arm. It is completely broken and, and useless. 
And Nines is actually going to go in. He's looking to get a little bit more experience here. Wants to prove that he's worth the 6,000 cats that we spent on him. Um, unfortunately, that was not going to happen. All right. So, Ruka is done cooking, which means Hobbs now needs to get up and uh, start using it. So, we'll say do it like that. So, he should swing over. And now, he's going to start cooking his food. Meanwhile, I want to make sure we're stashing all of the leather that we've got. So I'll have Ruka run over. There we go. And I'm going to have a grab the, the ore that we've got, sell it off, and see if there's going to be any other armor that we do want to buy or more. My, my thought process right now, and uh, the reason I think this is because Ruka would be the one that would be the one to do this, is always wanting to improve herself and be a better fighter. So I think we're going to buy her a set of medium armor that she'll only wear when she goes out. And when she's around town, she wears the samurai armor specifically for physical training to, to truly bring up her strength when she can. And if she has to go out, she'll do it via she'll do it via the um, the medium armor that we might pick up for her here in a moment. The other thing I want to grab for her, well, I want to grab a bunch of is a, a few more books. I might just grab them all. I know it's going to spend most of our money, but we're going to need it. And we don't really need uh, money for food right now. And we don't really need to buy her medium armor quite yet. We have no reason to leave Squin for a little while because we have some things we need to be taken care of. So that's that. Let's jump into our tech. And I want to level up our research bench. And then we also probably should do like wind and fuel. We need cactus and wheat straw and all this to even touch the the research for farming of those so let's go ahead and have her use those I'm, unless he's better at it he is he'd be faster rust tilt would be a lot faster and rook has done some cooking so why don't we get rust tilt up here and have him do the research at least for now i mean they can research it together and that'd be more efficient actually oh no no, they can't. Back to sleep. Back to sleep for you. And Hobbs is getting his cooking on. His whopping two cooking skill. And uh, the rest, just going to keep on mining. It does, I'm sure it feels like to a lot of people there's not a lot happening. And uh, there's really only so much I can do to mitigate that. We do have a lot of downtime that we need to have in order to progress in this game. So I apologize. You're getting like 30 to 45 minutes up episodes. Just understand that those 30 to 45 minute episodes are coming from an hour and a half to two hours of footage. Two hours is a little high. I, I typically don't do two, but the, the just chunks of footage is getting cut down because you're, you're not seeing a lot of the stuff that's happening in between. Um, if it feels like not a lot of progress is being made, I promise I'm trying. Third one. Third one, while we've been working, another roaming band of starving bandits has wandered by. That is super, super strange. And I don't know if they're coming for us because we have so much food being cooked. I'm a little nervous they might be. No, they're not. They got the guards they're going to have to deal with. If, if we just keep throwing numbers at them, I wonder if we'd be able to actually do... Uh, they'd be able to take down a guard. Wow, look at that blood spatter. We don't even have to be involved in this combat to enjoy it. Just getting batted around like a baseball rookie in, a, in, the, in the major leagues, man. That was just rough. <laughs> just rough. You'd think that the that group of, of starving bandits would have seen the piles of bodies, or at least, le the, sorry, the, the puddles of blood and a couple of bodies left over, and decide, you know, maybe, maybe it's not worth it. But nope. Nope, no interest. They just went right in. But starvation does some crazy stuff to people, you know? There's not much more you can really do. Research is finished up for uh, all the things that we've queued up. And most of the things that we need now are going to be things that we need research level 2 for. So, I'm going to grab everything here. And I'm going to look at taking a new... What is a storm house? Wow, that's that's big. All right, well, we can also get a small shack. I wonder if building like a small shack actually does anything or if we need to, if, if, if is, it, is that the way it works? As soon as we build any building, we are now considered an outpost and people will end up raiding us like crazy. Cause I feel like that's how it's gonna work. We need a research bench level two though. Oh man, this is a big puppy. We need 10 iron plates 
to make this thing work. If I wanted to build it down here, I might be able to throw it in that corner over there. It'd take up pretty much all of our space, so let's have Rust Hilt dismantle this. I imagine, I don't know if we're going to get anything back from dismantling it, but let's go ahead and, and dismantle it and see what happens. Maybe we'll get some our, our building materials back. But it's Kenshi, so unlikely. I assume we'll lose them all. We got some building materials. Some of them. You're going to eat, so let's go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and slow things down. And let's actually go ahead and, and pop this. And dis... Mm. Yeah, we should dismantle this for now as well. I don't like it, but we aren't really using this anymore. And what we did eventually try to use it for it didn't end up being wonderful. It didn't work out for us. We replaced all of that armor very quickly. So let's break this down. There was nothing. There was very little left. We got some iron plates. All right. And now if we wanted to build tech bench level two. Too close to another building. We very well may not be able to do anything else uh, with our tech benches. We genuinely might not have the space for it. And I don't know if there's really anything I can do about it. The only thing I can think of is maybe moving Ruka and we'll dismantle this bed. We'll take the sleeping bag back. We'll see if that ends up buying us the space. Ooh, we, it did. It bought us the space we needed. We can actually make this. Beautiful. Holy crap. So we need, for this, 10 iron plates. So let's go ahead and see if we have 10 iron plates first. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, man. Let's do this. Let's send him up here to manage that, and then Ruka will be the one to grab the ten plates. And Ruka will build this. But we're going to have a, a level two research bench, which I'm very excited for. But if this is level two, I don't want to know how big level three is. All right. Inventory. Throw those in there. And you know what? We should... I don't know what to do with that human leg. I don't know if there's anything we can do with that human leg, but let's go sell the trash weapons I ended up grabbing. Make a little bit of cash. A little bit. Look at all that food. Ugh, that just... It feels good. I think for now, I'm gonna have Rust Tilt do a little bit of mining himself. It's been a while since he's worked on his laboring skill, but his laboring skill is still 56. He still has quite a lot uh, to him when it comes to working out. And it's going to be good for a strength training, so we might as well. Oh, actually. Come back, Rust Hill. I got to put all the books in here. All right. That's the research bench level two. Up close, it's a horrifying monstrosity of metallic tubes and things that don't look like they belong, but they do. A car battery, maybe. But to me... It's priceless. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to queue up some more research. We have... Oop, I don't know what a bead, medium building shell is. It's like a large house. We can, But we got beds. We can actually make sleeping bags, basic first aid kit, hemp-based fabric, crossbows, corpse disposal. Corpses make a mess and attract scavengers and predators of all kinds of trouble. Incineration would be the most effective. Defensive walls. Electricity. Way more farming and advanced cooking. Well, why don't we do advanced cooking? Iron plates too, level two. So many things. Leather armor crafting. I, I feel like we should definitely go for that. That's going to use up a good chunk of our books. And why don't we learn to make some sleeping bags? 
And we'll have Rust Tilt do what he does best. We don't want him mining now. I want him sciencing. So we'll have him science. I don't think she can use it either. And that's all right. What we can do is strength training for Ruka. Off you go. Do some mining. Get that strength up. Wear that armor. Look at her strength just going through the roof right now. Look at that lovely four attack. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think for now, I'm going to say nines. I do not want you storing the copper. I just want you mining it. And I want Ruka to be the one to, just, to store it for now. Though nines probably needs to come back for food at some point. All right, advanced cooking is finished. That's something. Okay, our major research has wrapped up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything in here first and I'm gonna do it with Hobbs because he has a backpack for it. And we'll run this across the street and wait for them to open. Hopefully any minute, there we go. Hello, good to see you. It's me, your neighbor. Here to sell what I always sell directly back to you. Now. Before we do anything, we now have leather working finished. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm interested in trying. It seems like in order to be good at producing anything, you need to leave uh, and make your own town. But I'm not quite ready for that. So we need a tanning bench, which consumes four power, and a crafting bench, which consumes five. In order to generate any power, I don't, I don't know how to generate power, honestly. It running on biofuel means not much to me, but we need it in order to craft because we need power. And there's no power in the city that I think I can pull from. Yeah, everything here is going to start needing power. And I'm okay with that. I just don't know how it's going to work. Because what I would like is like a crafting bench up here. Which would eat eight iron plates, which is kind of a problem. Because we can't produce iron plates yet. And then a tanning bench we would also need. Which I guess I would do right next to it. I'm hoping that won't mess up too much as far as pathing is concerned. We'll try it. We'll confirm it. So we're going to need three iron plates and eight iron plates. So let's send him over here. Um, it's all the iron plates we've got until we buy or find more. So the first one I want to do is actually the tanning bench. At the very least, we could take our leather that we have and tan it. And then afterward, we can uh, turn it into armor if we get lucky. But no power... ...means I don't know what to do. <laughs> we might be at our first little impasse here. Oh! I actually don't need... Power. There's enough power in Squin where these are actually all powered on on their own. Huh. Well, I might be able to start tanning things then. Let's grab Rust Tilt. Let's just grab as many of these as I can. And let's try this out. So we want to tan some leather. So let's go over here. Let's go ahead and have use the inventory. And if we wanted to... We just tan it all. We can do 10 at a time, have him use it, and he just goes out and tans. And then it just starts producing leather. And then this being done means we can have somebody making leather armor, and suddenly, suddenly, we're actually starting to able to equip ourselves with armor that is not shit. Very important distinction there. Not shit armor. 
So once Hobbs is done, I'll be curious what we're able to actually craft here. We still might want to go buy armor as well, just as a kind of a shortcut. But if we go into inventory, we need leather. We need, oh, okay, so we need cloth and we need leather. And what will it make us? Q, trader's hat, ratatan hat. Ah, crafting ratatan hat, huh? A reinforced wicker hat. No idea what that does. Trader's Leathers. The Trader's Guild is proud of the claimed rags to riches of origin story. I can't scroll down. Well, we might try making one of these. Ah, that's it right there. Cool. Um, now, I'm, now you've got me curious about other crafting things. Looms. So looms is what we'll, we need to make... Uh, fabric. Okay, so fabric is going to be something we can't really make quite yet. Who has the cloth on them? It's him. So let's actually go ahead and trade with Rust Tilt real quick. And just take those. And then we can go ahead and throw those in. And then we can go in here. And wait it out, and then we can actually try and craft our first piece of leather armor on our own. And there we have it. So, what's interesting is that it'll use more leather than cloth just to make any piece of armor, which I presume is natural. But more importantly, I imagine that their armor smithing it directly relates to how much of the leather they end up using. Hilariously enough, Hobbs is our best armor smith by, by quite a lot. Which is not by much, because everybody could get to eight, but Hobbs being the one uh, that's best to, to be doing this is, is kind of funny. I'm curious what skill's going up for Rust Hilt as he's working on this stuff. Laboring? Armor smithing? Yeah, it's armor smithing. It still actually is his armor smithing. We still need a lot more leather. So I think we're just going to let them do that for now. Just operate the tanning, and then I want Hobbs to just operate this. Get off the cooking stove. Yeah, and he's automatically going to go grab what he needs. Will Rust Tilt do the same? If he runs out of animal leather, will he go get himself animal leather? I want this piece of armor. I want to see what it's going to do for us. I'm excited about the smallest little dumb things right now, and it's wonderful. It just as we learn how things operate and how, how to make our own stuff, we suddenly become a lot less needing to rely on anything anybody else. Well, we're going to need more fabric, so I'm going to run Ruka back in, and we're going to swing to some nearby stores and see if anybody's got some fabrics on the cheap. Nope, there are people up here. Never mind. Whew. For a minute, I thought I thought I could pull it off. I'm not actually being seen right now. Now I am. Now I'm not. Now I am. Some cotton. Cheap cotton, too. I'd buy it if we didn't, if I, I felt we needed to do some research with it, but I'm fine with the not grabbing it right now. Uh, but this little general store doesn't have what I'm looking for, so maybe the bar will. We got some nomads as well. Nomad pack beasts that are just maybe going, ooh, going up the stairs, maybe. Why are we getting a bunch of nomad animals without the nomads? Goats. We got some hungry bandits uh, lying on the ground dead. But we're missing nomads, and sometimes the nomads are willing to trade if you can get a hold of them and they have things worth buying. But it's not looking like we're getting such luck right now. Maybe they're in here? Ooh, this might be them? Yep, they're all in here. Animal trader. I don't... Let's take a look at the... Let's talk to the animal trader. Oh, there, townie. I have animals for sale. Carry your stuff for you. Fight alongside you. Make a good meal. They do. Do I need to feed them? Of course you need to feed them, you fool. They'll eat anything you do and more. Eat right out of your backpacks, they will. Do they eat a lot? I don't know if I can afford to feed them. Young ones ain't so bad. They'll eat more as they grow up. But if they're carrying a bag on their backs, you can carry more food around, can't you? Can't live without them in the long journey. 
Show me what you've got. So we can actually get a pack beast. Cool. They're expensive. I don't know if we want one. Ooh, bone dog, pack bull. Oh, I'm having I'm having ideas. I'm having ideas and I can't chase all of them. Uh, all right. Well, I wasn't wanting an animal. I was just hoping they had some maybe some stuff that we would want. Uh, that's okay though. Yep, and they've got nothing. And then on the second floor, Kang. Have I talked to Kang before? Looking for protection, outcast. Maybe got any skills? Sheck warrior, outcast. You need to ask. Lose the attitude, and maybe we can work something out. I change for no one. You either hire me or you walk away. Six thousand cats. Hmm. His attack is 18. He's actually maybe worth the money, funnily enough. But we don't need him yet. It just would feel not right to grab him quite yet. Um, so I'm not going to, but he's there. And he's actually, for 6k, what we got last time compared to what we got this time is a lot different. So I'm okay with it. And there we go, we actually got a prototype grade Trader's Leathers. The Trader's Guild is a proud of its claimed rags to riches origin story and continues to use the leather wrap around jacket as its unofficial uniform. Although being over 200 years old, nobody can confirm the true origins of the guild, and skeptics say the mundane clothing is just to make them seem more humble and honest, so you don't notice when they're ripping you off. Crafted by the Smith Hobbs of Nameless. Oh, we need, we need a faction name. I don't know what I want to call it. I think I'll reach out to you guys on Twitter uh, and ask you for input on faction names. Maybe one of you will have a, a cool faction name for him, for me. Um, this thing has terrible blunt and and uh, leather resistant or any the resistances are terrible on this thing. And most importantly, it doesn't sell for much. So that's a big old bummer. But for now, we can at least throw it in armor storage and say we have it for now. So buying, I think buying ourselves armor for Ruka, some medium armor for just when should we want to take her out to actually do some fighting is going to be what we have to do here. The nomads are freaking everywhere. Their animals are infesting every building. All right, medium armor. Specialist grade, huh? Mercenary plate. Well, we could just go with our usual, what we got, um, rust hilt some plate stuff. So we'll just do what we did for Rust Tilt here. We'll buy ourselves some standard medium armor. And this is what she'll wear when she's not running around with this stuff on. But for now, I'm okay with her having to actually do some exercise and make things work. Man, when the nomads are in town, and you can just tell. They are everywhere. And we still got a little bit of money sitting in the bank. I want to test our metal against a group that wouldn't be terrible to test it against. So let's do something here. Let's actually take them out. I'll leave that on. And I want to take out our, our main crew. And I want to see... I want to see... If we can actually manage to fight. So let's actually take a little bit of food with us. I want to see if we can get ourselves into a fight that we can win. So Rook is not going to be as well armored. So I'll make sure nobody's got any jobs assigned. But she's still going to look like freaking kick ass. Doesn't look as neat in my opinion. But it still looks cool. She matches almost exactly to Rust Hilt. But hey, teach their own. Nothing we can do with these bodies. I want to go hunting for a fight. Now she's rolling at a minus seven instead. Rust Hilt's got a 20. And our dear boy Hobbs is rolling a, a 10. So she's rolling really low right now. But we might still be able to make it work. So let's do a little patrol. Let's see if our crew can find some trouble. Now that they have a goal in mind, at least a kind of a, a baseline goal anyway, 
we should be able to make this work. Or rather, now that we have a baseline goal, Rusthild wants to con constantly try and push his own boundaries. Stay within the confines of, the, of, of safety, close enough to the city walls where we can run if need be. But last time, we were over here. The dust bandits had set up a camp. It looks like they broke that camp down, however. Even with some wild animals roaming around could go a long, long way. Discovered an exile camp. Interesting. It's actually a decent roll down this way. Ooh, what is that? Is that the waste? That must be the way station. So the exile camp is in the Sten Desert. Not particularly thrilled about that, so I think we're going to turn back. The desert has those skin spiders, and I'd rather not deal with them. I really would love to find some starving bandits. Uh, maybe a small pack of, uh, of bone dogs. Or even Garu. What do we got? I see something moving down here. A bone dog? Well, let's all attack the bone dog unprovoked, shall we? I'm gonna have Rust Hilt run back. I want Ruka to run in and Hobbs to do most of the of the fighting here. And I want Ruka as well to do a lot of the fighting. Oh my god. Maybe he needs to run in and attack. Don't block, just attack. Ruka's getting annihilated by this bone dog. Ruka, I'm gonna move you to the side so you give Hobbs a clear shot. There we go. A little bit of fighting. It's it's always depressing when you realize a bone dog can still absolutely annihilate your uh, your friends. So we'll run Hobbs in, get some hopefully some free shots in. Rustil immediately goes down. His chest is bleeding. I think we're going to turn off ranged and run uh, Hobbs in to do what uh, the thing he's the best at right now, which is melee. Hobbs' head is taking a hell of a beating. Ruka, come on. you got to do better than what you're doing here. Hobbs is being just... Absolutely decimated. Down goes Hobbs, but it lost its its leg. But Ruka could also die here. This is ridiculous. Wow. Perhaps there's no better metaphor for our party than them all un unconscious, bleeding on the ground. 3v1 against a lone bone dog and they all fell under the pressure beaten battered bloodied downright stressed perhaps even frustrated again our three friends find themselves in a situation they could have avoided but they sought out and in turn the stars above aren't even visible in the void that they're seeing unconscious Maybe next time.